Take two, some dummy didn't start the camera. Hey, everyone, welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. I'm Chad. Hey, it's Tuesday, so hopefully you follow along. You know what that means. Today's a blind battle where we take two whiskeys out of the bucket of fun. Is that what we're calling it? What did we say the other day? You what? said it, and it was good. I don't remember. It was a good I one. I wish I remembered, but I don't. Yeah. So we take two blind whiskeys. We drink them. We give you our opinions on them and what's best. So we'll be right back with you to see what it is. Thanks. All right, here we go. You ready to get into it? Yeah. All right, here we go. You pick. I'm going to get some more in there this week. Get that box. What do we call it? The battle box. Didn't you say that? I don't remember what I called it. The battle box. <coughs> and if it happens to be, hopefully you guys are seeing this. If it happens to be a Unicorn Killer Series, we'll get Mike down. Mike? Are you... What's that on his head? He's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him. He said he liked it. Huh. You believe that? No. <laughs> so what we're going to do is Chad's going to bring these bottles out, and we're going to uh, get right into them. The answer key is right here. We won't know what we're drinking. So why? Some of us won't. You guys will know. That's right. You That's guys one. already know. And there's two. Two? So while we're pouring these up and getting them ready, we want to invite you to visit our website at bourbonbattlesblind.com, where you'll find a link to all of our social media, including Patreon. And if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a great community of like-minded whiskey individuals that are doing some really cool things, and you ought to entertain checking that out. And if you join Patreon, let's hear it for a limited time or for all the time. Yep, you get included in our monthly giveaways. Yeah, there's a list of all the benefits to it. And probably, we're going to do a little short video today after this, uh, describing what Patreon is. So go find that video and it'll tell you a little bit more. So if you just go to our page and look for the Patreon uh, information video, you'll but see. But wait, that. there's more. There's more. Let's hear it. We also talk about uh, different different whiskeys that we probably don't normally do. That's we'll right. get more candid. Yeah. Huh? I mean, you, we're going to have a video talking about it, so there's no some yeah, continuing. We on. just did one with some really cool yeah. whiskeys that are never going to show up on the YouTube. You have to be That's true. That's true. There's an awesome Patreon community. You really need to check that out. Uh, also, on that website, you can get a link to the Barrel Heads, which we'll show you a short clip right now what that looks like. Yeah. Visit our website at www.bourbonbattlesblind.com to see how you can get these fantastic Barrel Heads and more and save 10% off just by using our link. There you go. You saw a little bit about what we got going on there. You get 10% off just by visiting that in our, uh, I'll, I'll explain that to you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you get 10% off just by buying through our website. The guy could do custom stuff. like Anything you want. You just saw. The two that we just showed you are custom. He's got a lot of really cool stuff in the library. Reach out to him if you want something different. So yeah. That's cool stuff. All right. You ready to get into these, Chief? I am. Poncho. Lefty? That's lefty. <laughs> Let's kick his heater off. They smell the same, I think. They're very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Man, look at the legs on that one. Thick. Look at the legs on that one. You think that means something? Maybe they're both the same one and we just don't know it. Can that be something? I don't know. They already know. I know. They're probably laughing at us. Ha <laughs> ha. Wouldn't be the first time. I wouldn't think so. It's bright in here. I got yeah, my so. sunglasses with me just in case. I do believe number one is pretty high proof. Uh, a lot of fruity flavor. Uh, it's pretty sticking good. A little oak in the back there. I like it. What do you think? I don't think it's too high proof. You don't? Mm -mm. Doesn't have a lot of flavor, I don't think. Mm, got a little flavor on the end. You know what else you can find on our website? What's that? A link to Red Barrel Liquors in Mooresville, Indiana, so you can check that out. Awesome or you could just drive picks. there. You, depending on where you live. Well, I mean, you can't. Nice. It's not like you can send it to you in the mail. But, right, but you could check it out even if you don't live close. But if you want to take a flight <laughs> to get some of these cool store picks he's yeah. got. He does have a bunch, and he keeps getting them. 
That's pretty tasty. It's it's pretty unique. In fact, I'll go, I'll go as far as I really like number one. I think number two's got more flavor. A little bit. I do. But um, they're extremely similar taste profiles. Maybe. I'm gonna hit them with a little water and taste them. Where's a you where's a? Thing? Yeah. I get it from you. Hmm. Were those your new IU shoes? No, they're not new, bud. Size you wear 18? 18? Kids. Kids size? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they I think they're pretty similar in age, if nothing else. I mean they're the same color and I think they're extremely similar taste profiles. They smell the same. Probably similar proofs. Like I say, they're all probably looking at it, and one's a sky. Uh, water does not help, number one. Made it hot. Just, or just astringent. It's not like it was when we drank it without water. Make your, yeah, I don't like that either. Make, you, make you all green inside. Don't, <laughs> don't put, whatever this is, don't put it, water in it. Not you that, can. not at least in Maybe one. Maybe you like that. It tastes like kerosene that way. It went from really good to really bad, I felt well, like. Well, I don't know if it went, yeah, it just... Number one was not nearly as dramatic, but it brought out a lot of the oak, in my opinion, with the water. Number two, you mean? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it, it, water doesn't hurt it as bad, but I definitely don't think water helped number one at all. Yeah, you ready to pick? I am. I say one of these is a little better. Yeah. You ready to pick? Yeah. On three, one, two, three. We're different again. We've been different a lot. I picked number two. Chad picked number one. I picked number one because I thought that... I did think it was worse with water, but I thought without water it was significantly better. So but we both thought they were pretty similar yeah. overall. So I don't know which is which or and who is who. Just, it don't matter. Just you grab one, I'll grab one. I think that's number two. Yeah, that's one I picked. Okay. So what I picked, oh, I picked old granddad 114 coming out of Jim Beam. 114 proof, four years old, 63% corn, 25% <laughs> rye, 10% malted <laughs> barley. What'd you pick, Chief? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Peerless small batch. I wouldn't have believed it. Yeah, because we've taken, uh, yeah. I've never had a propensity to like it, but I don't remember thinking that much of it. Right. I'm really, really, really surprised you picked it. I am too. Uh, 109 and a half proof out of the Peerless Distillery in Kentucky, Louisville. So. Sweet mash, but still. You've been to there many, many times. I have. I've been there a few times. So explain to what you can do there, what, like their single barrel program. You want a tour. You can go on a tour, that's right. You can get a parking ticket if you're not careful. <laughs> Could you park right out front by that little ramp? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like that. Well, they don't care. The story doesn't care. The city doesn't like it. The city doesn't care either because you're going to pay your ticket. Right. So, I mean, they do now have a thing where you can try before you buy, and they're kind of famous for their single barrels. They are. Um, yeah, you can pay 10 bucks and go in and taste everything they've got. And then if, if, you, don't, if you can't do a tour, I like the tour myself. Um, I've never done a tour there. Done a tasting. I mean, it's 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 a small distill. I think it's they, they, small production. You know? It's like a craft distillery. It kind of is. I mean, I think they put out a little more than that. But and their Rick House is small. At least their on-site Rick House is small. So this is what their I can't believe I picked it. Small batch expression looks like. If you can pick that up, I mean, there's already a picture of it up there. Chad picked that, and of course, everybody knows what the old 114 looks like. And I can't believe that I thought I thought. What's I just, the proof on this bad boy? 110, 109. So they're real close. Yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm surprised that I did not pick that. You know, it's okay. So what's interesting about Peerless is are all or most of their single barrel picks distillery only? I think so, yeah. Or, so, I mean, I've never seen one. On, I mean, now, every occasionally you'll find one on a shelf somewhere, and I don't know how they acquire it, but you, I don't think that, I think to get, because every batch is, I mean, it's a new batch every time. It's all sweet mash. So they don't yeah. sour mash anything. So, I mean, it, that's what makes them all different. You know? what, what's cool about it is they've got some really interesting finishes, single barrels. And every single time you go there, you can get a unicorn. You could. I mean, Depending on what it is, yeah. Well, I mean, it is a unicorn. Because yeah. once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it's, I'm sure they keep bottles for some, keep bottles back at some point. but Yeah, I mean, the, the double oaked or toasted or whatever they call it, right, has gotten very, very popular. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go there probably right now and grab a bottle. Yeah, you can. Uh, it is a little, they are expensive. 
uh, sometimes fearless in general. Uh, I don't have, I've had the regular rye. I have not got a lot of experience with their single barrel rye. Have you had many of them? A couple. They're kind of known for their rye and those single barrel rye. So, uh, hey, if you're down in these, these two places, Jim Beam and Peerless are what, 40 minutes apart? Yeah. Something like that. If you're down in the Louisville area, I'd I, I don't, it. I don't know that you can get any old granddad at the Jim Beam distillery in Claremont, but. And if you could, it would just be the regular bottle. Right. So I don't know them doing anything special with this, but uh, actually, I uh, just saw today. You know, they make Canadian Club here. Did you know that? Say that again. They make Canadian they, Club. Jim Beam makes it. Yep. In Bardstown or Claremont, uh, wherever they wherever they distill this. I'll be darned. Same, you, same you, distillery. Mm -hmm. If you look on the side of the box, it's got a DSPKY number on it. It's the same as this one. French whiskey. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so vodka with some food coloring. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so check these places out, guys. Peerless is really cool. And you can walk to like five other places within a few blocks. Yeah. So check it out. Hey, we've rambled on long enough. Yep. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're going to see in future battles. And remember, drinking whiskey is supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends. But for God's sakes, don't drink and drive. Nope. Oh, if you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crawl.